everybody. Welcome to Ken Knows Gambling. And today we have more sports. Uh, we got a, a few things to talk about uh, on the sports side. If there's any subscribers out there and they're not into the sports, they're just more into gambling. Well, I promise you, you can, uh, you can go have a beer or something because this is totally for my sports people. Okay. Uh, I want to go over what happened today. I want to go over what happened last week and uh, what's coming up and a little bit more than I did in the other video. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. This is more sports and it's coming to you right now. All right, y'all. Let's get into some stuff. Uh, first of all, uh, I appreciate all my sports betters. I appreciate uh, all the comments, all the questions. I'm getting several of them. But I wanted to dispel one thing real quick. Uh, I had a fella email me, and I gave out a whole lot of money lines uh, in the last two weeks. And he took two of them, and he put them in a two-team parlay. And he, he, he commented on, he says, man, I laid 75 to win 20. I did win it. Thanks for the 20. So here's the thing about money lines, especially uh, when you're doing uh, the power versus the dogs much less superpower versus super dog. You're gonna lay money, okay? He said he wasn't used to it. He'll get used to it, believe me. He'll get used to it when he wins, okay? But I want you to sort of look at it this way. If you're playing craps and you bet $100 and you're laying the, say, the no 10 or the no four, because you're protecting your don't pass line, you are laying. And sometimes you might have 100 up there to protect the 25. You may have 75 to 100, $125 out there at risk to protect a 25 or a $50 bet. You are laying. Now, why in the world do we do that? We do that on the crap table because the 4 or 10 only has three ways, three ways to make it out of 36 rows. So we look at the probability of that 10 hitting before any other number, we say, you know what, it probably won't, and it's a high probably won't, so we lay, we risk it. Same thing with this. I'm willing to lay money because the probability of me winning is high. And guess what? The bookies know it. Vegas knows it. Why else would you have Alabama with a 14, 15 point favorite and they're minus 650 or minus 750. What does that mean? That means you got to bet 650, $750 to win 100. There are some uh, 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 money lines. There are some that are so big, you might have to risk $10,000 to win 100. I'm not telling you to bet that at all. I'm just saying these bookies know that the chances of that power winning are so high, so high that they're going to win. They're going to make it where you're going to have to lay to get that 100 bucks. If you want to win 20 or 50 bucks, they're going to make you lay. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I don't mind. I don't mind laying. And here's sort of why. You got these people that are betting the spread. Okay, and they'll they'll put three and fourteen parlays, and they're betting the line. Okay, and guess what happens? One or two teams every single time screw it up. Okay, but this is what you hear, man. I'm betting a hundred to win six hundred on this parlay, man, and you're betting a hundred to win fifty. You're stupid. Well, am I? Because he bets a hundred to win six hundred, and one of his teams loses almost every flipping week, okay? And so at the end of 10 games, he's down a 1,000, okay? But me, risking 100 to win 50, risking 100 to win 40, whatnot, after 10 games, I'm up $500. Hmm, well, which side do you want to be on, okay? I am on the lay, I'm on the money lines, I am. That's why I don't do lines. So I've got some stuff up here. Between the last two weeks, you remember last week we won our first parlay uh, of the season. It was a four-teamer. 
So between those four money lines, I gave 11 more out today. So in the last two weeks, I've given out 15 money lines. Here's what I know so far. Out of the 15 money lines, 11 have won. There's still four being played uh, that I have, four being played right now. So the outcome is, I don't know. Now, one of these parlays, my power's getting her ass whooped, but it's it's rain delayed or some kind of delay. Now, I don't know. I still think they'll end up winning. Uh, you know, it was only first quarter or something, and it's delayed. So I'm still not worried about it. But nonetheless, they're behind. And uh, But that's okay. So right now, 11 out of the 15 have won. And I'm almost 100% sure that they'll all win. They will. But four are still, still playing, so we don't really know. But as of right now, 11 out of the 15 have won, and four are unknown that I'm not too concerned about. Now, watch this. I've done three parlays, money line parlays. I gave a four-teamer out last week. It won. I gave a four-teamer out this week. It won. And then I... I bet a seven game uh, money line parlay. I didn't put that out. And the reason why I didn't put it out, because seven, even for money line, is a lot. You know, because you could have that one idiot, you know, and they get beat. Um, but I really, really go through these to try to make sure. But anyway, I didn't show that seven teamer. And it all came from the, the money line picks that I gave you this week. All of them came from there. Okay, so I did a seven teamer, so I'm three and oh, but what you guys know, it's two and oh, one last week, one this week. So I'm already three and oh. So here's the way I look at it last week, I bet a hundred to win 70. All right, we won the 70. This week, I bet a hundred to win 50. So I'm up a buck 20. That one right there was a hundred to win 150. That's on the plus side. So I have won money. If my next par $100 parlay goes down, I'm still up. You know, even so. So here's what I want y'all to get, y'all. I'm not asking you or anybody to have to agree with my style of betting. And that's not what I'm trying to do. That's why next week, uh, like I did on my previous video, uh, uh, Ken Unfiltered, uh, I'm going to change the format so that you can... If you want to do the line, you can. Uh, if you don't want to buy any points, you don't have to. Uh, it's still what I think would be a good play, but I'm not betting it that way, but you could. And I'm still going to put in my parlays. I, now, I might not put them all. I, I just might. There may Sometimes I just maybe don't want to give them in case I lose. I, I don't want anybody to get hurt, but after all, this is gambling, and it probably will happen sooner or later. We're going we're gonna to lose one, but we'll win more money than we ever lose, so we don't even have to worry about it. So I just wanted you to, to understand the concept of laying, okay? Now, it's different. Let's say you've got two teams. It's a three-point spread, and it's tight. It's go either way, and just because there's a money line on that team doesn't mean it's a good bet. It's too close, even for money line, okay? So I'm looking for that power or superpower versus dog, okay? I'm looking for that every time. Now, this week, um, now NFL is, is coming up next week. Everybody was talking about, oh, they want my anchor play. Well, I will tell you this. If there's an anchor play to be had, I'll do it. But not every time do I like all the matchups and not every time will I have an anchor play. I will generally always have a money line play. But what I'll do is I will put on there what I'm doing. If I'm going to do something squirrely, you know, I'll put it up there. Okay. And as always, if you don't understand it, whatnot, give me a shot. Uh, I'll help you try to understand. I also had another fella ask me, why don't I go live? Now I use Bovada um, most all the time during sports. Why don't I go live and just show you exactly how I do it? I would love to do that. I'm not sure I have the uh, 
the technical capability of doing it. Now, I know somebody like John over at Pro Crafts, I guarantee you he could probably help me figure it out, but I don't know that I have the setup that I can actually do that. So, John, if you're listening uh, and you want to give me a shout or something, maybe help me that uh, do that, I would love to get on Bovada and show him exactly how I click, where I click, how I decide uh, what parlays I'm going to do because I'll punch him in there and see what the money is. If I don't like the money, I'll start putting another team in there instead and I do a lot of stuff. So uh, that fellow that, that asked me to do that, it's a wonderful idea if I can do it, if I can do it, okay? So maybe John over there, maybe Mike can help. So I hope this has helped some. It's all in how you look at it. And once you get used to doing it this way, man, you're going to... You're not going to bet the same the rest of your life. I'm telling you, okay? Because you'll get, you'll enjoy this winning stuff, and and uh, and oh by the way, I do not count a four team parlay as four wins when I on my site when I start giving my wins and losses. If I bet four and it's a hundred to win something, that's one bet. That's one play. So I'm not going to pat it and go, oh, I'm 150 and, and 10. Yeah, no. A parlay is one bet, whether you're betting two, three, five, ten. One bet, and that's how I'm going to count it, because that's the only way to count it. Okay, just want to get your mind focused on a whole different concept. You're not used to it, and I get it. I wasn't either, uh, until I started winning money, and then it was like, it all makes sense. The bookies put that, you know, they put that money line so high, because they know that team's freaking going to win. So they just they make you put a little bit more um, um, action step. They make you make a little bit higher of an action step uh, just to get you second guessing. They would rather you do that parlay of 100 for 500 because they know somebody's going down. They know it. They'll take those all day long. Okay. Some of these teams, they won't even put the line. There were some teams I wanted to bet on. But they were such a superpower, such an uh, uh, underdog, that they didn't even want to put it put it out there because they know people would just jump on it. Because there are people out there. Uh, I had somebody ask me uh, today, "Do you have to string money line in a parlay, or can you do it separately?" And the answer is absolutely, you can do it separately. Okay, but if you do, then it might be six hundred fifty to win a hundred. Or a thousand dollars to win a hundred, or God forbid, ten thousand dollars to win a hundred. If you're just going to do one game, now I'm going to sit here and tell you, I have bet those high numbers. You know, a thousand dollars to win a hundred, two thousand to win a hundred. I've done it, and I've won every single time, and I'm not afraid to doing it. But I'd rather do it without risking. It's like that no four, no ten. I bet two thousand for a hundred. It's still hanging. It could happen. Highly unlikely, but it could. So that's why I do it the way I do it. Okay, that's it for today. Trying to keep it a little bit short. Uh, if I've confused anybody, just hit me up, and uh, like you have been doing, and I'll do the best that I can uh, to help. Okay? Hey, listen, if you like the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. Uh, hit the bell notification so you know anytime I drop a new video. But as always, the best thing you can do for me is share this video. Share this video to anybody that you know that you think this will help. Okay, so that's it for right now. Uh, until next time, be great.